Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I share my recipe for red salt. I create a bottle of this magical salt and show you a few ways to use it for love magic. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is a collaboration with Aurora at Lavender Hazelwood Witches. She has also created a video for you about using roses in love magic, and I encourage you to drop by her channel and check out her video after this one. And kindly click on the subscription button while you're there. Her videos are soulful and authentic and very much worth checking out. I'll put a link to her love magic video below and in the card at the end of this video. In my urban witchcraft video, I shared some thoughts about city foraging and picked up some roses and hibiscus flowers for future magical workings. I've decided to use those ingredients to create witch's red salt and do some love magic. This salt recipe is very different from a red salt recipe for protection and has completely different ingredients and uses. The first ingredient I'm including is rose hips. Used in spells for love, peace, and attraction, this herb brings harmony and friendship. It's also great for stress reduction and bringing kindness. Next, I'm adding hibiscus flower. This flower is commonly used in love and beauty spells and is associated with marriage, passion, and lust. The hibiscus flower is sacred to both Ganesha and Kali. If you do not have hibiscus flowers available where you live, you can omit them from your salt entirely, or you can obtain them by purchasing hibiscus tea. The same is true for rose hips. I'm using a food grade hibiscus in my red salt today as I'm not sure what kind of pesticides were used on the flowers I foraged from the park. I usually do not worry about pesticides or pollution on foraged items for spell work, such as spell jars or Greekery bags, or for making incense, potpourri, or simmering pots. I use food grade herbs when I'm adding them into a preparation for topical use or to be ingested. Next, I'm adding roses, the classic red rose associated with love. This flower attracts new love and enhances beauty and desire. It's used in magical workings to mend disagreements between friends and lovers. I'm also adding some ground cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my favorite spices for witchcraft as it corresponds to so many good things. Among those things, cinnamon attracts love, heats up cold romances, and ignites passion. The salt I've chosen is Himalayan pink salt. Pink salt or pink halite is useful for self-love workings and promotes making decisions from the heart. If you don't have pink salt on hand, you can use regular sea salt and add red food coloring to achieve the pink or red color that you desire, or just allow the other ingredients to provide the red coloration. I've created a Book of Shadows page for this red salt recipe. If you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. Some red salt recipes suggest adding cayenne or red pepper flakes. However, I would caution against adding them to a love drawing salt. In my opinion, they would work against the rose petals. While red pepper can stir up a lot of passion and emotion, it can also encourage drama and arguments among lovers and friends as well. 
As you grind the spices, herbs, and flowers into the salt, infuse it with your intention. If your traditions call for it, you may wish to bless your salt, chant or speak words while creating it, invoke a deity, or pray over it. My intention with this salt was very general to draw love and affection in, because I know I'll use the salt in several different workings and rituals. However, you can be much more specific with your intention if you would like. One way to use red salt is to sprinkle it around your bed to add passion to an existing relationship. One way I intend to use my red salt is in a ritual bath for self-love. I'm adding rosebuds and dark pink rose petals to an organza bag and then filling it with my red salt. Submerge the entire bag of salts in a tub full of warm water. The bag will ensure that the drain does not get clogged with petals and flowers while allowing the salt to dissolve and the herbs to infuse the hot water. The second way I intend to use my red salt is in a love spell. I'm recording this voiceover a week after doing this spell, and I must tell you that I was shocked at how quickly the results manifested. I wrote my intention on a petition paper and placed it under a fire safe dish. The intention I wrote at the beginning of the petition began to manifest less than 30 minutes after I completed this working. I placed an anointed red candle at the center of the dish, surrounding it with the red salt and adding some rosebuds and rose petals. Red is the color of passion, sexuality, courage, and the fire element. I use red candles to channel the energy of fire when doing spell work for love, romance, or friendship, or when working on a new creative project. As you might have noticed, I used a large petition paper and I wrote quite a bit on it. The second and more complex portion of my intention began manifesting within the next two days and is continuing to do so very rapidly. Candle magic tends to result in faster results than jar spells or slower workings. In my experience, casting a love spell takes a lot of energy but it can be very rewarding. They can be an empowering way to bring the love that you want and need in your life, whether it's self-love or to help draw the energies of two willing spirits together. This red salt can be used for all types of love magic, self-love, romantic love, and for relationships with family and friends. <laughs> 